the Pepperdine men's basketball team in Provo, Utah on Saturday. Snow, no problem for the Waves and Jet Rains. Inside, the Waves will be facing the BYU Cougars and their nearly 19,000 fans in attendance. It was all good for the Waves early. They started off great. Cameron Edwards drives in for the first two points of the game. Now Stacy will feed Cam for a 4-0 lead. Jed Range on the jumper makes it 6-0 Waves early on. Monmurray Jr. hits this jumper. Waves up 12-7. They scored on each of their first six possessions. Now this Lamont Murray basket is going to make it 17-12 in favor of the Waves. BYU would eventually go on a run, however, taking the lead, going up by as many as 13 points. Waves would try to battle back. There's Cam Edwards with the basket and the foul. Now Jet Reigns working in the post. Jet had 17 points on the night. Jeremy Major working down low, finishing. Great pass here behind the back. Jeremy to Stacy Davis with the finish. Now late in the first half, Waves miss. Jet Reigns tips it in. That makes it 53-45 BYU at the half. Like they did the first half, Waves started strong in the second half. Cameron Edwards, first two points of the half. Waves would cut it to two points here at 53-51 at this Lamont Murray tip-in. Lamont will make it a two-point game again here, 58-56. Cam Edwards would finish with 16 points, but in the end, too many turnovers for the Waves. Not quite enough made shots in the second half. BYU goes on to win this one, 88-77, ending the Waves' four-game winning streak. Let's hear what head coach Marty Wilson had to say about it. Well, part of it, they're at home. Uh, they're more comfortable at home. Uh, I think the, the first half, they shot the ball well. They shot, uh, shot over 60%, which uh, is unusual for us in our defense. Um, they hit six threes, and that's that's always our goal, of no more than six uh, per game for, for anyone, um, especially them. And then I thought in the second half, we turned the ball over too much. Once we cut the, the, the game to two, and we gave them some runouts, and they shot 30-something percent in the second half, so the turnovers were a big factor in the second half. Because look, looking at the stats, it looked like everything was pretty close overall in terms of rebounds, you know, I guess three-point disparity maybe, but do you think that was the big difference, was turnovers? Well, that was, that was, that was, that was the difference of the game in, in my eyes, especially in the second half, because we cut it to two, uh, we turn it over, give them a layup, come back down, cut it to two again, and then we get another turnover, they get another layup, and then they got going again when they got comfortable. And, Tell you what, Kyle Collinsworth, uh, I'm glad he's gone after this year. I don't want to see him again, uh, but he's a great player, a uh, very good person. I got to know him years ago when I was here, uh, so I'm, I'm excited about what he's done here at, uh, at BYU.